Here we go again, a Friday update on the model mayhem. Snow showing up on our computer models in the coming days. Some get a lot, some get a little, and we're tracking multiple storms. Hi, everybody. I'm Chief Meteorologist Chris Justice, giving you constant updates on the potential for severe weather. I give you early warnings, a reliable forecast you can count on, and a direct approach you won't find anywhere else. If you're new to the channel, please like this video, subscribe, and turn on notifications as I'll keep you posted along the way. Let's get back to the data right now as we're looking closely at what's happening in the European. Just came out, showing as we go throughout the next uh, 12 to 24 hours, there'll be some snow flying around here across the Tennessee, North Carolina state line as some overhead energy moves through. I can't rule out, and we've had some reports of sleet pellets or some snowflakes in the upstate of South Carolina or the Piedmont of North Carolina. And then you got a little bit of snow up here uh, toward the northeast, and that's light compared to what could come in future storms within the next week to 10 days. Let's map out where we go into the weekend. Some of that snow continuing to fly around here in West Virginia, up through parts of Pennsylvania into New York. Uh, upstate New York getting some good snow, as well as New Hampshire, parts of Vermont and Maine. Great for skiing. Uh, I'll mind you, from ski country in North Carolina up toward the northeast. It's uh, quite nice going into the weekend here. Busy in the ski resorts, though, I might add. <laughs> so uh, Saturday night, Sunday looking fine, a, a pretty calm forecast for us. But going into the new year, New Year's Day itself, a reinforcing shot of cold air starts to move through. Notice these blue lines are showing up. That's colder air in both the upper parts of the atmosphere and the lower parts. Another round of snow for the Appalachian Mountains up through West Virginia. Snowshoe northbound through Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania, New York. That will get into North Carolina as well, up toward Boone and along the Tennessee state line. We're pretty dry and calm Tuesday, Wednesday, but our next storm system gathering strength. And I've been telling you there's two streams that we watch, the northern jet stream and the southern jet stream. The southern jet stream gets activated yet again. And here we are Wednesday, January 3rd. We've got another southern stream system coming in. The European going a little bit bold here and keeping this thing suppressed to the south. I'll tell you, the GFS and the Canadian model do not show that. It shows it streaming up as a Miller A-type low pressure, which rides right along the coast and gives many more some moisture and possibly snow. So here we are Thursday morning, uh, about 7 a.m. This is riding up the coast in some form or fashion. Pretty muted, though, as the two streams do not connect. you got the northern branch finally dipping down, but it's too late. The two do not merge, so you get a low pressure that's well offshore and doesn't do much. You get some light snow that develops here uh, down the spine of the Appalachian Mountains, but not much. That takes us to our third and final storm system we'll be watching in the near term, and this would be heading into next weekend. Friday night, Saturday, another deep low pressure in the south moves from Louisiana into Alabama and Georgia. This could lead to a wintry mix, a little bit of freezing rain or sleet in western North Carolina up towards ski country. This would be Saturday night into Sunday morning, but it looks like, as the track of the low would have it, and no help from the northern jet stream, this would be mainly rain for a lot of South Carolina up through Charlotte into Atlanta, Georgia. But as it moves toward the north, depending on the track of this, it would have had the opportunity to give parts of the mid-Atlantic up through the northeast. For you folks watching there, we, we could have had a big storm. The Europeans saying, nope, not this time. The GFS shows a little bit of a different situation. I'll go through a little bit more quickly. Here's our snow that's scattered across North Carolina and Tennessee this evening. That comes to an end Saturday midday. Here we are with a reinforcing shot of cold air. Brings in chilly weather for the new year. That'd be Monday into Tuesday. Another shot of some quick snow for western North Carolina near ski country. That moves offshore. Here comes our Wednesday night, Thursday system. This coming in a little bit more cold for western North Carolina and with a lot more moisture. So rain for Greenville. Atlanta, Charlotte, but snow up toward Tennessee, where Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge, maybe even Nashville could break out into some good snow. That would be into eastern parts of Kentucky, into West Virginia and Virginia. That would ride up to the northeast with some rain for New York City, Washington, D.C., Boston, uh, but more offshore. In this case, it's cold but dry for most of you. Let me show you the next weekend system. GFS coming in a little bit more different as well. It's juiced up with a southern jet. It's got some snow breaking out across western North Carolina, maybe the extreme northern parts of the upstate of South Carolina by Saturday afternoon. That continues into Saturday night before rain tries to take over Saturday night into Sunday for the upstate. 
while as in the North Carolina mountains remain sleet or freezing rain, maybe even some snow if it's cold enough. But that pulls away Sunday, rides up toward the north where you get some big snow in Pennsylvania, New York, uh, stretching up toward parts of uh, uh, New Hampshire, Vermont. Uh, this could be a very interesting situation with some inland snow, even along the I-95 corridor. The GFS model shows New York City, Jersey could get in some snow going into Saturday night, Sunday. How about totals? The GFS and the European could not disagree more. You've got anywhere from a dusting uh, or so in the upstate South Carolina, Atlanta region to two to four inches stretching into North Carolina, five to 10 inches here across Snowshoe into West Virginia. And then if this, um, this European model is correct, you get about an inch uh, parts of Jersey, New York. You go into upstate New York, uh, you got more like 5 to 10 inches, depending on the track of those lows. The GFS, I'll flip it over to that, a little bit more beefed up, uh, as much as 7 inches up toward Boone for ski country, uh, 7 to 10 inches from Snowshoe, parts of Virginia, West Virginia, and then you get in upstate New York, uh, again, 4 to 5 inches of snow, depending on the track of that low, you could have more as we watch that closely. It looks like we've got a dip in the North Atlantic Oscillation. I look at this just to kind of tell me seasonal forecast, where we're heading and where we're looking at right here. you got that dip showing the cool down New Year, kind of hanging out negative, which indicates we're pretty cold going through the first week or so of January. The 7th, we're really negative. That means thereafter, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, the 8th, 9th, and 10th of January, we're still cold, but does look like it goes rebounds back to positive or neutral, which would indicate near normal temperatures showing up toward the middle of the month. And that's what the new National Weather Service outlook is showcasing here is you've got near normal temperatures expected for the mid-Atlantic through the Carolinas into Georgia during the time frame of January 5th through the 11th. That was just issued as well with above average temperatures expected toward the upper northeast right there. So watching that closely does look like it remains wet. So it could be rainy and warmer than average, uh, but not seeing snow toward the middle of January. We need a Arctic low, a piece of the polar vortex to break off to get anything to change that up. And I do expect us to remain active. So as long as cold air is around or nearby, we at least have the chance for wintry weather. Hey folks, if you enjoy my style of forecasting, if you will consider please liking this video, subscribing to my channel and turning on notifications. I'm a chief meteorologist located in Greenville, South Carolina. Uh, I do television uh, daily, but uh, my passion extends uh, to, to you as well via this channel. I, I like providing you early warning of severe weather, a reliable forecast you can count on, and a direct approach you won't find anywhere else. Just trusted weather updates around the clock as these systems come our way this winter. Have a good day, folks.